Hello everybody. Okay, it's working. Welcome to the stream. Holy Saint Night here. Uh, now, because people were asking me what games to play, let me tell you. Don't bother playing any Diablo game. Four is trust. Three. This game here is. Uh, it's a Call of Duty. Uh, it's a. It's a kind of like a shooting game, but it's for the RPGs. You are. The reason is you are guaranteed to get the items uh, from uh, killing uh, rift bosses. Uh, you're gonna get recipes so you're guaranteed to craft the items that you need so it's not really that much, that big of a casino element uh, casino type of a game where you just depend on drops Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 uh, they are the real Diablos but they are very old games and they are still Diablo 2 is still uh, better than Diablo 3 and 4 Diablo 3 being just better than Diablo Four, although it's trash as well, because here you have much better kind of skill uh, skill tree than Diablo 3. Look at this, uh, the skills I got. You got all these skills. You don't have just uh, five or six skills that are in Diablo 4. So don't play any of these games. If you want to play a good RPG game, people were asking me, go play Total War, Warhammer 3, buy it on sales, of course. You, can, you should also, to play all the factions, buy on sales the previous Total War Warhammer titles, 1 and 2. So only you need to do is, you can buy these on sales at a very good price, all of them and the DLCs. And then all you need to do is install the, the, the Total War Warhammer 3 and play the Immortal Empires map, which is the entire map. That's the real... Uh, uh, a real RPG. I cannot follow you if we just it's not Baldur's around. Gate, which is boring. Okay, it's, uh, and you just handle uh, five to six people. I don't remember how many. Six, eight, eight, six. It's not Baldur's Gate. It's uh, as a good RPG. I'm talking about. Uh, it's not uh, Path of Exile or Diablo. All these are trash. Go and play Total War Warhammer. This is the. The best RPG strategy game I've played. After that follows Warcraft 3, but like I said, that's an RTS uh, RPG, really. It's, uh, it's not, uh, you don't get to take many decisions that fit an RPG game, which is uh, Total War Warhammer. Okay, let me check out, check out something. Ah. Its impact has increased critical hit chance, so this means the critical chance increases. Okay, now let me just give some chance to... Let me check on... Uh Obviously this is zero. Okay, what, what are my thorns? Okay, that's very little thorns. I need thorns from equipment to make this work. Ah. And I did pull down the reduction.
Okay, I'll try this, the redu reducing the cooldown. So I will be dealing less damage this way. So go play Warhammer 3. Total Warhammer 3, that's the real deal. Now. I'm gonna try get this character into... Since I made him get into level 70, I think that's the maximum. And I, let me tell you something guys, this game has nothing to do with, uh, very, has very little to do with Diablo. I have heard troubling news. Okay, the kingdom is kind of... Shadows and its members gather to the north. It's kindly reducing like a lot of their opponents, so that's the good. Of the shrouded moors, where few will think to look for them. One can only guess what dark rituals they will pursue in the forgotten corner. Like chapter for the wind. See this way that I increase my uh, uh, experience game using uh, Bad luck for you, friend. all this the season to play the season. It, so playing a season, of course. You're supposed to play this game with a team, not going alone. Some call the process ascension. A lie that no doubt binds them to obedience. But mark my words, these abominations have not ascended. They need only to suffer. I require more rats. They need their final goal. You are supposed to play it on a team. Not go alone. But you know, Diablo games are. They are. For what they are. They are designed well. I mean. For being. Uh, their lives to the search. None believe that they would be the one to end the crusade by finding and cleansing the corruption. They believed the search ennobled them, that the discipline of their life and journey was the true goal. The crusader was meant to find meaning in the quest itself. They are designed well as uh, before, but they are even Diablo 3 has some good elements, okay? Yeah. 
but the game itself is, is trash. That kind of games are trash. And I don't even have uh, all the, the Necromancer DLC for... Uh, Also, people were complaining about the pure generation skills being useless in Diablo 3. They are not useless. See, see this, this, as I told you guys, this was supposed to be uh, Diablo 4, look at this blow, this is the blow, this is the key, it's dramatic. It was Diablo 4, was supposed to be an expansion for, and put Lilith in, as they did in... Uh, I killed them all, yeah, I killed them all. As they did uh, in Diablo 2 with the Uber, uh, with the Ubers. But instead, uh, that would be of course with the Necromancer class. But that was too expensive to make, as people didn't play the game anymore. So they said, okay, let's make a new game and have Lilith be the boss. And the fun guys, this is what will happen. That's why I, I guess that's why the skill in Diablo The skills in Diablo 4 are so few because they, it was not supposed to be a game on its own. Uh, it, it was supposed to be uh, an expansion for Diablo 3. And there is Sanctum of Blood. There you are. Yeah, Don't is. tell me that you never suspected I was more than what I seemed. It was the only way that I could get close to you. Now, yeah, this is it. Get much closer. Yeah, this is it. Uh, I, like I said, this uh, Diablo 4 was supposed to be an expansion for. I should have made it change, yeah. Just have uh, are no I
take you from the time when I'll stick with the... with the cooldown reduction. Of course I need to hit a lot in order to... to make it cool down instantly but I think Before the wind. So as I was saying, uh, the generation skills of Diablo 4, uh, they aren't useless. They are... Uh, you are supposed to use, to use them to get your lucky hit because they have highly lucky hit charges. So you're supposed to use them to get the lucky hit. That's why you are... That's how you're supposed to use them. The thing is, as I said, Diablo is, uh, has a... Diablo 4 is trash, so obviously... It's the... It, you're gonna see things that are very poorly ob ob oversimplified thing this is also with the core skills oh, I mean the core skills Guys, you're seeking your fortune, same as me. Consider this. Would you like some company? Uh, Lilith is not a Diablo endgame boss. Okay. Consider this. Lilith is. It, 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 just, it doesn't fit. She could be a boss of an act, but not a Diablo endgame boss. Webinar can get moving. All right. I think I've got it. Oh. Light be down. We better run before more of them show up. Something's over there. Maybe we should have a look. Also, guys, you need a uh, cooldown reduction uh, on all your gear. I enjoyed that. You can get it. You can get rare Out of room. cooldown reduction. Oops. I guess I'll have to go back. I need to go back. Let's 
let's see for this. So that was uh, Lilith, guys. It's not an end, an end game boss, okay, of Diablo. She could be a boss uh, of an act or a second boss in a quest of a, an act, not an end game boss, an act, but not an end game boss. So it, it, the deck with the Necromancer parts, I guess we were supposed to. Get it with the necromancer. Not ready yet. But they decided instead to make a money grab and uh, make a whole new game. That was a good one. I'm gonna do it on time, no way. I'm overburdened. Isn't seven to the maximum of level? Then you start Paragor. New goods today. Please look. I you think so. Be disappointed. Okay, that's a useful amulet. Okay, this is also a useful sword. Just 
Mars is grand to 99 experience. I'll go with the extra experience. Now, as you see, I'm just. Uh, I'm it takes a long time to suck what you get. You are not to be underestimated here, the rares, by all any means. So magic amulet. Of course, I have all these unique items. There is the Laura. In this cooldown, yes. and why do you keep glancing over at Kadala? Oh, just. Making sure she isn't up to anything suspicious. a lot of smoke to make it work. Whereas uh, the Rice Brothers that summons the soldiers of the order that is uh, that is a much better option if you have some rare gear with the cooldown reduction, that's all you need. Now guys, of course, as you see, I'm going slow because I don't have the... Uh, the speed charge active.
far before Zakaroom. Won't open. What happened here? This cannot be opened yet. This is a bugger question. It won't open. Okay, let's keep going. That's obviously a bug. Oh, that's good. Power before Zakaru. Zachary room. So guys, uh, my advice to those who want to play a, a really good RPG is stay away from Diablo and Baldur's Gate and go play Total War Warhammer. That's that's the best RPG experience you're gonna get. Because Warcraft 3, Warcraft 3 is an RPG. Uh, Warhammer is an RPG.
just say it's this one now. So this is the final one. This is something I used to do in the past. Okay, yeah. Uh, right, blocked sands. Let's go on the next. I'm not using Cinder, so I'm gonna go with her. I'm gonna go with her in your head for the moment. to go back okay this is it this is uh, the maximum level after that we go paragon levels the world is safer now for your efforts take this you have finished all the bounties here but more await you in other lands What's this? 
and thorns. Okay guys, well, thanks for watching, so this is just made this character for fun, and these games guys are trash, my advice is to stay away from, the, from this, I just got this game because I, I bought it, uh, I like both Diablo 3 and River of Souls, costed me like 30 euro and that was a fine price for it to get these games uh, so I get bought them mostly to see how these games were back in the day don't waste your well earned uh, money into uh, Diablo franchise guys the Diablo franchise itself is ok Diablo 1 and 2 were back in the day games you used to play for fun uh, I mean, no one had the expectation just to farm the best items, that's it, uh, in Diablo 2. Of course they were farming, but they did mostly play for fun. Now what did they, did they do? They just made tons of tears. Like uh, Diablo 4 isn't out yet and it's got 100 tier dungeons. And Diablo 3 got Torment. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's leave the game. Hold on. If I go to. How many tiers there are? Let's let check it out. Normal Expert Master Torment. Alright. Torment 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 11, Torment, Torment, ok, maximum is Torment 17, so it's 17 and uh, the maximum, and uh, maximum is so, uh, Torment 17 and there is also the maximum rift difficulty greater rift 150 that's the maximum so you understand how much scaling they put into the game this wasn't the case with Diablo 2 in Diablo 2 it was this not Diablo 1 it was uh, these three difficulties okay if you play you get it and if you want to keep uh, playing the game play do dungeons and find loot and that was about it uh, it is not here all this craziness just to go higher tier and uh, the game scaling infinitely almost next to infinite which is pointless okay after some point Diablo 2 was and 1 also were great for the PvP aspect uh, it was the one major reason players used to farm for games they are not farming uh, just for uh, the PvE. Uh, and Diablo 3 was supposed to have PvP. Okay, they have made the arena, they have made the maps. And the, that was the core aspect many people came into the game. And then they just removed the PvP aspect from Diablo 3, which was uh, supp supposed to be mostly PvP. 
They removed uh, the PvP. They, they didn't put on the arena. They only put on bro put in brawling. No, they didn't put any the arenas which were supposed to be four versus four. And the thing is, guys, the the, sh the company said that they did it for balancing issues. Well, uh, that's the thing. Uh, that's the point. Uh, one of the major reasons that Diablo 3 is trash. It is that uh, there, uh, the players wanted to have the PvP. There wouldn't be a pro no game is perfectly balan balanced. So there wouldn't be a problem if, if they added the PvP. In fact, that would attract more players. So they were scared and didn't put it in the game because they were afraid that uh, uh, it won't be balanced and uh, so by removing the PvP completely this is what uh, had most of the players who kept playing because they were thinking they're gonna get PvP quit the game because guys uh, it's uh, you know it's uh, everybody knows that uh, there will never be a perfectly balanced game uh, ev anywhere, okay. The PvP it was it also here because it's about, of course, you see the items. Okay, it's it's never going to be balanced. I mean, what does it mean? If someone with uh, uh, who lacks items won't be able to play uh, against someone who has all the items uh, in the world and is not as good. Uh, in skill uh, as uh, the guy who's lacking items that's about diablo okay this is uh this is the point the thing with this is the situation with diablo so there was no reason to remove pvp i guess they were uh, bored to uh, bored uh, to put it in the game uh, because players weren't playing it uh, well, and that's why players stopped playing it because they didn't put it into the game in the first place. So, guys, as I said, the Diablo franchise ends with Diablo 2. Uh, Diablo also isn't my personal preference. I don't care about uh, even Diablo 2. I just played it because back in the day it was, uh, I mean, uh, unique back in the day. So, but uh, mostly it's about about playing, uh, you know, doing the campaign, then, I mean, there is no, uh, that's it, you do the campaign and you are good. And Diablo 2 had a good campaign, even if the campaign was cut, cut uh, content was cut out of Act 4. So guys, thanks for watching. Stay away from uh, Diablo, okay, Diablo franchise. I mean, people who ask, were asking me who want to buy RPG, okay, don't buy any Diablo RPG. Buy Total War Warhammer, that is an RPG as well as a strategy game. And uh, it's, uh, it's the real type of RPG. Not, not Baldur's Gate, not uh, Diablo, not Path of Exile. If you want to play a good RPG, go play Total War Warhammer. That's my advice. You can buy all of them on sale, up to Warhammer, Total War Warhammer 3, all the DLCs, everything in a pretty good price. So you get to play with all the factions in the Immortal Empires map. So guys, thanks for watching. Be well, everybody, and see you in the next cast.